Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Sometimes we get mad at God. Maybe the word isn't mad. Maybe the word is disappointed. Maybe we're confused. Some of us have downright completely been angry with God and thought that he actually tried to hurt us in some way. I know this from a friend of mine's boyfriend, who said, I'm not Catholic anymore because the God of Catholicism wouldn't have let my grandmother suffer like she did. And you may have some of these own things in your own life. I know for a fact I've had this quite a few times, and right now I'm I'm dealing with it right now. While I'm not mad at him, I'm trying to understand. And I think that's harder because of the confusion and the fact that he's supernatural and I'm not. And I don't know the, what he thinks and his deal, deeds and, right? I mean, I'll never know until I'm standing in front of him face to face. So what don't we do when we're having these kinds of experiences with God. Don't walk away and turn in the other direction. You may need to take a day or two to think about things and to get your emotions in check. But as soon as you can, go into deep prayer with God and talk to him. Ask him questions. Why did I think that this was going to happen for so long? Because you, in the way that I communicate with you, seemingly said yes. So why did it not happen, Lord? God, I heard you tell me to take this job. Lord, I heard you tell me to choose this spouse and now we're in the middle of a fighting divorce Lord you told me that good was going to come out of every bad so why did so and so die it's tough (laughs) it's tough to truly discern That was where I was going yesterday with my podcast. Is it something that we have to continue to work on? And then also to accept when things aren't going to go exactly the way that we think they're going to go. And maybe they did in some way, but it's something that we can't visually see ourselves. So if you or someone you know is in a bad place with God, let's all do our best to try and pull ourselves together, be humble, and go to God like the children we should be, asking him for his guidance and his leadership Ask him to help us understand the best we can. And then to let it go. Forgiveness is hard. 
Forgiveness is super hard, especially with God. When we're really sitting here questioning every last moment of our discussion with him or the past six months or the past year, it's hard. It's really hard. But don't walk in the other direction. Don't walk away from prayer. Don't walk away from him blaming him and being mad at him because ultimately it is true all bad turns into good somehow some way for those who believe and we just may not see it right now we may not understand it right now so what we can do is take a hold of those feelings that are making us feel stupid or angry or resentful. When God says, you must forgive or I won't forgive you, I'm telling you, he means it. (laughs) And he definitely means it about himself. So let's deliver any spirits that are dragging us down and away from the Lord. And let's run back and say, Lord, we believe, help our unbelief. We're not sure what you're doing in our lives right now. It seems like you're messing it up. But I don't know for sure, only you do, and I know that you're taking care of me, so I'm going to give this to you. I offer it to you. I'm going to sacrifice today. I need to make it up to God because I've walked away from him for a couple of days because I needed to just deal with it, if that makes any sense. And I need to now go back to him in prayer, maybe even in tears, and surrender myself and my life again, like I do every day, but in a much deeper way, with true, like, lack of control, opening my hands completely and letting go everything, my preconceived ideas, everything, and starting over with him. That's the beauty of every day, the dawn of a new morning. A new day awaits us. It will not be the same as yesterday, guaranteed. So now we have to make the best out of our lives and out of our time to love ourselves, to love God, and to love others. And let's just focus back on that. Because we will never know his plans. We won't. And so let's do the best that we can to accept the situation that we're in right now And to love him, love us, love others. Live with joy. Remember Jesus, others than you. All right, everyone, it's a short one. I'm having bouts of dizziness and vertigo. So it's really difficult to talk and stand and not kind of fall over and get nauseous. So I'm going to end this one. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I am fighting some sort of a cold. This dizziness came over the past couple of days, and it's, uh, it's really annoying, so I've got to lay back down. But let's not be mad at God, ever. And when those feelings come, let's make sure that we deal with them, we process them, and then we run back to God and say, we're sorry, we don't know your ways, we don't know how you think. But we want to live in peace and to give this all to you and let go of our self-control because, God, you know what's best for us. All right, everyone, have a blessed and inspired day. I love you all. Take care.